Imagine walking amid a field of beautiful purple, orange, and white flowers blooming with warm sunshine. Look around, and you see nothing suspicious about this stretch of heaven on earth. The landscape is so magical, it literally binds you to it, leaving you with nothing but intolerable stench. The flowers, the magical landscape, and the beautiful scenery are just a mirage because there's a strong presence of death in this creepy valley of Russia, and the volcanologists know exactly why. Welcome to Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, a 1,250-kilometer stretch of mesmerizing vistas that is home to some of the most active volcanoes on Earth. A little over 320,000 people have settled in Kamchatka Peninsula, with close to 180,000 people residing in Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky and about 39,000 staying in Yelizovo. Despite the fact that the nearly roadless peninsula is located in Russia's far east, adrenaline junkies find their way in and even explore areas beyond city limits. One popular destination that tops all travel lists is the Kronotsky Nature Reserve, which is home to soaring mountain ranges, abundant lakes, and Russia's sole geyser basin. What people don't know is that amid the picturesque landscape of Kronotsky, is another charming valley filled with beautiful flowers and death. In 1975, a volcanologist from Russia's Institute of Volcanology and Seismology called Vladimir Leonov and his student Viktor Duryagin decided to visit this charming valley, which is part of the Kronotsky that only a handful of people had visited before. They had no idea what to expect, but to the naked eye, nothing about this valley looked unusual. After walking about a thousand feet from the Valley of Geysers, which boasts 90 active geysers and numerous hot springs, the duo decided to stray away from the area's original path. Soon, they found themselves walking amid a field of beautiful flowers, but their astonishment was cut short by an intolerable stench. When they looked down, they saw the ground was scattered with bodies of numerous dead animals, including five massive bears. Leonov immediately called local authorities and requested them to send scientists to carry out autopsies of the dead animals in order to find out what killed them. After taking some samples, Leonov and his student quickly cleared the area. A year later, Leonov labeled the charming valley as the Valley of Death, claiming that it infuses destruction and devastation. In 1983, over a period of five years, Rangers at the Kronosky Reserve retrieved bodies of 13 bears, 3 wolverines, 9 foxes, 86 mice, 19 ravens, a hare and an eagle, and over 40 small birds from the Valley of Death. Researcher and bear expert Vitaly Nikolayenko was surprised to know that the bears who died were healthy, but their staggered footprints implied that they were disoriented before their death. Further autopsies revealed that the animals died quickly from suffocation. Experts claim that apart from animals, even humans who remain in the valley of death for too long would suffocate to death. But is it possible to suffocate in the open air? Yes, in the valley of death, it is possible and it is quick. Leonov blames the poisonous volcanic gases that have eternally clouded the entire valley, thereby giving it its name. There's an excessive amount of carbon dioxide CO2, in the Valley of Death, and due to its weight, instead of dispersing into thin air, it sinks back close to the ground. While breathing in a little CO2 won't harm you, breathing in an excessive amount can lead to death. Therefore, animals who scavenge for food in the Valley of Death end up suffocating to death, and predators who come to consume those dead animals also suffer the same fate. In an attempt to save predators from suffocating to death, rangers try to clear up bodies of dead animals as fast as they can. How would you save animals from suffocating to death in the valley of death? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and check out JoJo's stories for more jaw-dropping content we're sure you'll enjoy.